Jay is a student studying statistics at the University of Waterloo. He failed to make enough money on his previous co-op term. He only has $100 but need $200 in order to pay for his tuition so that he can take Diana's fun statistics courses. Jay decided to gamble. Time's up, kid. That was my year's worth of savings. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Yo, watch it, buddy. How do I play this game? It's simple. I have a deck of 52 cards. Each game costs one dollar to play. I flip the top card. If it's higher than a nine, you get two dollars. Otherwise, you get nothing. Do you want to play? Oh, sure. In this problem, I is J's starting position, which is $100, and K is J's goal, which is $200. So here, the probability of winning, P, is 413, and the probability of losing, Q, is 913. By plugging in the I, K, P, and Q values into this formula, we can find out that J's probability of reaching $200 is 6.5 to the 10 to the power of negative 36. Clearly, J hasn't taken Staff 333 yet because the probability of losing is greater than that of winning. Also, we can calculate the expected number of hands until J loses all his money, which is given by the formula. It will take 260 hands on average for J to lose all his money. Like you're out of money right there. I'll be right back. The man's rolling in town. How you do? How you do? I got the chart to make you jump. Jay, what's up? How are you doing, man? Well, pretty bad, yo. I just lost all my money. Uh, From doing what? Uh, gambling. Uh, I was wondering uh, if I can borrow some money. Some money? How much do you need? Uh, you know what? Since you're my best friend, I'm going to give you all the money you need. All right? Don't worry about it, Jay. Thanks, man. Let's get it on. Hey, man. So soon. Yeah. I think I'm gonna win this time. Since Daniel is willing to let Jay borrow an unlimited amount of money, this is just a simple random walk example. We want to look at the passage of time between 100 to 200. So P and Q are the same as before. The required probability is P divided by Q to the power of 100. So the probability that J is able to pay his tuition is 6.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 36. Even with the unlimited payroll, J's chance of reaching $200 is practically the same. Oh my god, look, it's that rich guy. Yo, hey, Daniel. No, um, I got a bad news. Uh, I lost all your money now. What? Dude, now we both can't pay, can't pay our tuition.
Hey guys, this is basically a video about the gambler's ruin, which is a concept in statistics. Hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully you learn a little bit from it. Don't be that gambler. I just want to say congrats to my team, you know who you are. We gotta head up Vegas sometimes, try out this concept, without losing too much money. Uh, lots of love for our Professor Diana, to, uh, for agreeing to let us work on this little project. It's been lots of fun. And finally, special mention to two ladies, Jing Zhang and Sherry Yang. You girls done us a huge favor and definitely owe you. Good luck to all who still have exams. Imperial signing out.